If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. And that simple statement is the key to science. It doesn't make a difference how beautiful your guess is, it doesn't make a difference how smart you are who made the guess, or what his name is. If it disagrees with experiment, Yeah, look, they said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it. Did it. W's only, you know I've been winning. winning. Top of the world, the globe is spinning. spinning. Yeah. If you know, you know I've been on a what? mission. mission. Go. Okay, let's get it. Got a little time on my hands like a wristwatch. I don't got time for the brakes and a pit stop. Brace through the gridlock, take it like Chris Rock. Great right to the chin, still win. Heavy metals like Slipknot. Got the drive and I got tunnel vision. I just hit my stride the way I run the business. I've been making paper like I'm Dunder Mifflin. See the end game, I got one division. Look, I don't ever bother with a critic. Hit him with a chronicle of Riddick. Boom, bottle full of riddle and I hit him with a little bit of riddle me this. Riddle me that. My bad, fell asleep at the gas. No time to wait though. Elon Musk, I'm trying to bankroll. New Tesla just cause I say so. Electric whip like Ivan Vanko. I just, I just did, it. did it. W's only, you know I've been, you know I've been winning. winning. Top of the world, the globe is hey. spinning. spinning. If you know, you know I've been on a yeah. mission. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. I've been on a mission like totally spice on my bed. She bad, but she totally nice. Nice. Nose are blue and her toes really white. They complete me much out of the soul for my leg. He knew it for sure, but he left with a white. Go somewhere where there's not a reference. I can. I can show you. Is there ever reality. not a reference in? Is there ever yes. not a reference in reality? I can. Yeah. I, yes. I can show in you. space. Yeah, absolutely. No, but I, space, I, but you we're not there. So you keep going to a place that space. doesn't exist you to verify do what you can't demonstrate. You can no, we're do in it space. on Earth. You can do it on Earth. It's easy. Okay. Even show me, could do it. Show me a circular right. falling path on Earth. So I can show you uh, no up or down. Oh, you can show me no up or down. So, yeah, so we yeah, go to yeah. okay. Where is there no yeah, up or yeah, down? Yeah, I would love I'd to love see to where see up this. stops. I, I, I do not think. I think you are lying. You do not want to see it. You desperately. Yeah, I would love to I, see the line where stop. up, up I, stops. I'd like. I would like the, all the, the in between to stop, and I'd like for you to explain this because I would love for you to show me where on okay. Earth there is no up or down. I will. I will. So you are familiar with the density towers, right? Where the up and down that you. To sorts between the denser things on the bottom and the less dense liquids on the top. Yeah, you, you've heard of those RTH? And density yeah. layers? Absolutely. Okay. That's not up or down. Sure it is. No, which it's way, not. Does, which, way no, does it's the not. Density, which way does the density sort? No. What, oh, hold on, on hold bottom? on. A jar with liquids in it is not up or down. The sorting of what? the density fluids is up and down. You're showing me, yeah. but what you're, hold on, we got, what you're showing me is a jar and saying this jar is up or down. And I'm saying, I'm no, saying, no, that's I'm not up that. or down. So, so the, shaking the jar or doing anything to the jar is not manipulating I'm up not, and down. I'm not so when you, to, hold on, I'm let me get, bro, can you, can you jar. stop over talking me, dude? Well, if you, if uh, well, I, look, man, like I'll, I'm going to just start calling out your lack of self-control. If you're just going to make this about your lack of self-control. Guys, everyone. Duck guys, go it's on. omnivore. Uh, go, hang on. Go ahead, right there. Okay. So, uh, do we agree that shaking a jar with liquids in it is not manipulating up and down? Yes, we do. Yes. It, okay, great. Yeah, so, if you yeah. manipulate a jar with liquids in it, you're not manipulating up and down, right? I am. Okay. Well, I, I, can I, I, well, I say something real quick? Please. Go ahead. I mean, he's, so he won't which let me way? The but, you know. Which way will the liquid be? Will it be at the top of the jar or at the bottom? Again, that liquid and those jars have nothing to do with up and down. They do. Will the liquid be at the top of the jar or will it be at the bottom of the jar? No matter what. See you how shake NPCs it. can't. NPCs just keep repeating the same no. question because they can't have a conversation. They can no. only have scripted right. conversations, right. and now they're just interrupting. You can answer the simple question: Will the liquid be at the bottom of the jar or at the top? Uh, can't answer from okay, me. but that's okay. first of that all, is irrelevant guys, to up uh, and down. This, this is ridiculous. I, I have no idea why. Yeah, it is because you're trying to say he manipulated yeah, okay. up and down. For, no, we're not yeah. yet. First we of all, yet. Yeah. We let's make one yet. thing straight. Density, this density columns is not a manipulation of up or down. Not, it is no. also omni, not a not a situation where up and down does not happen on Earth because the density. Okay, I agree. that's what you were trying to. So, is this going to show yes. where there is no up or yes. down on Earth? Okay, yes. go ahead. Yes, continue. 
See, the thing is, what RTH knows is he's cornered and he desperately doesn't want to. No, stop the it. meta. Stop no, the meta. Well, just, I'm going to because he's doing No, it. you're not going to, Omni. I want you to just to talk about what you said you were going to do. I don't care about your fucking your commentary in your head about him. I don't at all. I don't give a fuck at all about that shit. So <laughs> if right. you want to explain yeah, there's well, no up and down on Earth, I'm then gonna... go right the fuck ahead. So it turns out, are you familiar with this airplane called the Vomit Comet? Yes. Okay. Did you explain to RTH what the vomit comet does? Why no, you're that? going to explain because this I is know what it is, dude. Okay. It doesn't so, Continue the, on. The vomit comet goes up and it goes into free fall, which means that during free fall, there is no up and down. And you will <sighs> see a density column on that vomit comet no longer sort by the density in the up and down that you are clinging to. This is because in free fall, the uh, materials are moving in. What a direction tier. are you going in free fall? So from whose perspective? From any perspective in the vomit comments. So from the perspective of the object in the density tower, they are at rest. In reference to what? From their perspective to everything. The plane doing what? The plane is in free fall. Doing going what direction? Uh, is moving in a geodesic. Then you're not showing a place on Earth that yeah. doesn't have an up or down. Because I it, am. Okay. The ISS. Is so, the ISS always falling down? No. So it's floating there? It's moving in a geodesic. So is it let, is let, it so you're telling me, hang on, you're telling me that the ISS isn't always falling around Earth. Well, you can certainly say that. I would say that it no, is. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You can not only certainly say it, All it right. is what it's fucking doing. Okay. A ge okay. The geodesic is only the path that the ISS takes. It's not what the ISS is doing. Uh, I'm going, I'm go if you if you're insist on asking me yes or no questions, okay? You I didn't ask you a yes or no question. Okay. I, okay. I explained something just now. You okay. understand that, right? You yep. understand that the ISS is falling around Earth all the time. The geodesic that you keep talking about only describes the path, not right. what it's doing. Uh, well, the path is what it's doing. <laughs> so, uh, the geodesic what? is a, the is a is the path shown well, that it let is me, taking. What it is finish. doing is not a geodesic. Right. The path is geodesic. It okay. is falling around Earth. It so is not. Me, you can say that it is what it is. So uh, let me finish. Let me finish the point. As we all know. When, uh, you know, under under uh, what we experience as normal gravitational fields, the density tower will sort itself from the least dense on the top to the most dense on the bottom. However, and that gives us an up and down. That gives us the direction towards gravity and, you know, towards the center of gravity and away from the center of gravity, which is how we define up and down. Right? That is accurately how these things would, uh, would you know, how we determine these things, how we define the determination of these things. So it turns out that when you are in free fall, what you rely upon, what you define experience as up and down doesn't exist anymore. Because, and you can see it in the way that the uh, density tower sort, unsorts itself while it is in free fall. So that is a place you know, within the atmosphere of the Earth, uh, it's not on the ground, but within the atmosphere of the Earth, where? Hmm. So it's not on Earth. So it's, I guess you could equivalent it to the well, ISS it, as well. So, what, wait wait a minute. So we don't uh, define a balloon as being on Earth. Okay. I mean, well, that's how, how you're going to... Well, we were, I'm not sure if you remembered or not, but we were talking about the ISS, and we were talking about it free-falling constantly perpetually free falling we were discussing this very clearly you then stated that you had an example of somewhere on earth where there yep. was no up or down not up um, at the i'm ISS going to level. i'm going to say uh, oh at the iss level okay well i can say that the vomit comet is what it's doing is emulating what the iss is doing am i wrong uh you're not what do you mean by emulating it is giving the same effects that the ISS does uh, on the vomit comet. Free uh, weightlessness, uh, uh, free fall, like you keep saying. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. But this will okay. happen. Let me just be real clear. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hang, your... hang on. I want to make uh, I want to make this very clear. Is ahead. there an up or down on the ISS? No. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, whatever. Well, I mean, I mean, show me that there is. But this will happen in your kitchen if you have a, a bottle that's half full of water and you drop it. It will cease to have the water inside will cease to have an up and down alignment. It will no longer conform to the bottom of the bottle. Is there gravity on the ISS? No. Are you sure about that? Well, they, they say microgravity. Depending on what you mean by okay. is there gravity. So Yeah, okay. Do they float in fucking space? They do. They float in space. Oh my fucking God. No, they don't float in space. Jesus Christ. Okay. If a okay, fucking a, I yeah. guess it depends on what you mean. How about this? How about this? How about this? If an astronaut just didn't push off, just let go from outside after whatever time, time does not matter. After whatever time, would the astronaut end up back on Earth? Not necessarily. Where's Jesus the astronaut fucking. starting? Where's the astronaut starting? At the ISS. Okay, so you're asking is would the orbit decay? Why would they, wait? What causes orbital decay? So orbital decay is. Oh, don't I don't need you to tell me what orbital decay is. Just tell me what causes. Generally it. caused by drag. Okay, don't, and don't get, and worry. and there's something else that's Matt that matters to this. That's very important. What else? Drag it's in. Initial, it's initial starting vector. So you mean gravity? No, I mean it's initial starting vector. So if it's it. It won't decay. You can have a orbit that will actually escape the Earth and continue going. If, okay. If it's, what if does it, it need to do that? I want to make sure you understand what you're talking about. Because so if for an I object, sure escape, I, I, for an object, okay, so, for an object. Okay, let's make sure because you don't sound like you do. So an object. Read your mind. To I, read, I can read so your mind. Object, so an object. Yeah, I don't care. This is my stream. <laughs> I'm going to say what's on my mind. Go ahead. So an object to leave its orbital path needs to do what? So what you're thinking, I can, because I, I no, can, I, can I don't care. Yeah, no, I, I'm what explaining does it, to you. I'm what answering does it, you. No, no, you're telling me what I think. I and am. I don't care. I, if you think, I, I don't care. I'm <laughs> asking you a question. The question is, is so, what does it take for an object to leave its orbital path? So what you're thinking of is escape. Velocity. No, what I know what the fuck it is. You're thinking. I of don't. Escape I'm not velocity. asking for a clarification. I'm asking you questions. Uh, so well, what well, I need wait. you to do is just was, answer them. Was the what does it take? Velocity? What does it take for an object to leave its orbital path? Oh, so it has to have a enough of a vector, starting vector and direction, you know, the the uh, speed and direction to overcome the planet's gravitational field. That is called escape velocity. And that is what you are thinking of. And you are, you are, you are, uh, not th it's not, look, look, it's not what it's stop playing this. What I'm thinking of. This is just logic thinking. Basically, well, you could basic, under, look, basic, a uh, basic understanding okay. because you have said some really ridiculous fucking things, but then you sit here acting as if you're going to tell me how I think and how I fucking should think and how things are. And you're wrong. I'm going to make this very fucking clear. If an astronaut lets go of the ISS, and I even made this clear without pushing off. So there's no, no thought that this astronaut is suddenly fucking reaching fucking escape velocity. What would happen? The reason the fucking astronaut would end up back on Earth over a long period of time or short, I don't know the exact time, so it doesn't fucking matter, is because two things. Drag, gravity. You don't want to say it for some fucking reason. I'm going to say you're thinking because you think you're worried about this weird gotcha that I'm going to get you on. And when, because you misspoke, but you don't want to admit it. See how ridiculous that part is. So I'm just going to get to the point. The ISS is always fucking falling. It is not floating. The people that are in it are always under microgravity. The fact that the ISS is falling around earth is the reason that they get the quote unquote weightlessness but it is not actually weightlessness because they are not floating they are always falling so that's actually i would like to agree with you but unfortunately that's not actually true okay then you go ahead and explain it okay so what we're talking about here is a distinction between newtonian the newtonian worldview and the einsteinian worldview. 
In terms of Newton, I agree that they are falling. However, because we're dealing with free fall explicitly and orbit, we are not, you know, innately using the Newtonian worldview. So allow me to explain. If you were to rewrite or restate the first law of motion, it would be something like an object uh, without forces acting on it will continue to move in a geodesic unless geodesic unless otherwise acted upon by an outside force. Something would be something like that more than at rest, remain at rest, etc. So what that means is that when an object is in free fall in Einsteinian mechanics, this is this is pure, you know, Einstein, it is at rest. Okay? It is, has no force acting on it. No. Yes. I mean, sort of, but no. No, yes. The no. object is in motion. It's in constant motion because it's in free fall. Now, no. relative to the object, it may seem that it's at rest, but no. the object no, itself no, is in motion. This is, yeah, nope. this is the elevator. Par this is the same thing as the elevator paradox that you're trying to put forth. No, no. It doesn't work in this analogy. No, it, it, Seriously, well, I don't know what. Yeah, it is. It, I don't know why you're doing it. Because I, I actually understand this stuff, and I, I can explain. I can explain what's going on here. No, you obviously can't because you're not doing a very good job of it. Well, I, I'm trying again. So the, that object, according to the Einstein worldview, which is, as we know, well tested and validated, is at rest. So what that means is that it is moving, as I said, restating the first law, in a geodesic. All right. So that's that's the framework that we're using. That's the that if you want if you want to mix Newtonian and Einstein worldviews, then yes, you're going to get stuff like what you said, and that's easy to understand or conceptualize, but it's not In actually reality, it's, it's yeah, it's reality. It's not actually the object, what relativity. The says. object, the object is falling. Period. You can say, say it's falling, and that's you can, fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not. But, no, no, no. Here's the best part. It's not. I can say it's falling. I it is falling, and then your explanation is to explain why it's fall. It's not falling because yep. of. So there's I, a difference. Because so that. when I'm saying when I'm saying the reality is what's happening, mm -hmm. the reason for why when I say when and even in the vomit comet they are still falling mm -hmm. is because the reality of it is they are trying to emulate something does not change the reality it it's just not. emulates something else it's not emulating anything it's not emulation okay, okay so, so the vomit comet it, okay so the vomit comet isn't trying to give you the same feeling and effect that the iss has and is, the iss and the iss isn't falling around earth perpetually so it is using oh, okay oh you won't let me answer so it's it's not trying to give you the same effect it is actually giving you the same effect just with a lot more drag than the iss has okay is and the ISS from a falling? much lower altitude is so the ISS falling uh i'm sure you perceive it as falling however from the einstein no, okay. world is it is it is i i is the iss falling is a question yes or no this is a yes or define, no it depends on how you define falling Okay, so you want to play the game, so you're going no, to say I'm, no, even though it is. Okay, got it. I can, Go I can explain. I can, along. I, I can explain the relativity. So this, I don't this need is you to. I don't need you to. It's the best part is is it's really not that complicated. You're just trying to make it complicated. I'm not trying to make it complicated. Okay, so, does the ISS fall? It depends is on it how falling you around falling. Earth? It depends on how you define falling. Is it falling. constantly missing? Is it constantly missing fucking Earth? Yes, it is constantly missing Earth. as it falls around it. From your perspective, yes. Oh my! From everyone's perspective, from no, the ISS's perspective, from Earth's perspective. So, like I said, I can I can actually explain this if you, if you just you know let me talk a little. Bit. I just want hey, be more honest about it, and I'm probably more willing for you to explain it because I'm all being, you're doing is going no. I'm being a hundred percent honest. So, from the I so when an object is falling, do you think a force is acting on it? Let's start there. Absolutely. What force? Gravity. Okay. Are you familiar with an accelerometer? What an accelerometer is? I assume. Absolutely. You are. Okay. So when I drop an accelerometer, what force does it detect? When it's falling? Gravity. Does it detect a force? Yes, it detects it. It accelerates. Oh, no, it actually doesn't. 
It actually doesn't, Sean. It right. detects the acceleration due to nope. the force. Nope. It doesn't? Okay, no, so what it is it doesn't. measuring? If you drop an accelerometer, it, it, it reads zero. Correct. And when it hits okay. the ground, Earth is like... Why does it fall, though? Does it still, is it still falling? <laughs> oh, of course it's still falling, but it doesn't okay, register... Why is it falling? Okay, why is it falling? It's falling because, because of the force of gravity, but it doesn't register okay. a force. Thank you. So then I didn't answer incorrectly. Go yeah. ahead. Keep going. It's falling. Okay. Ask me. Because, let's start uh, over. Let's start over. Ask me the same way you asked me. Go ahead. Okay. What force does a uh, accelerometer detect when it's falling? That's not what you said. When you drop an accelerometer, what force does it detect? What's that? No, you said what force is acting on it. I said gravity. Okay. What force is acting on it? Fine. That's right. So yeah. So, but it's not. That's not true. Okay. So when you drop a fucking accelerometer, why is it dropping? Why doesn't it just float there? Because it is moving in a geodesic Why? through curved space time. Oh. You asked me a fucking question. I answered it, and you told me I was wrong, even though that's well, why. because you are. you are. You are wrong, okay. unfortunately. And I, I don't okay. say that with glee. This is a okay. So you drop something. Issue. So when I say you drop, okay, well, let's make it very clear. Gravity is a force to me, and what I said makes it correct. Right. Am I wrong in the fact? Is it wrong in how I said it? Yes. Okay, so if I gravity is a force to me, and you say I drop an accelerometer, and you say why is the accelerometer drop? I say gravity. You say no. Am I wrong? Yes. How? Because accelerometer because the accelerometer is designed to detect forces acting on it. Okay, let's do this one more time. Oh my fucking god! Ask me the fucking okay. I want to ask um, this time. I'm gonna say ask me the same question you did. I'll clarify the question you asked me. You're and I'll clarify how you fucking should have asked it. You're talking no, past talking each other. Pa nope. He's asked me a question. I've answered it. He talks past me to say I'm wrong in how I answered it. The problem is, is you asked me, if you drop something, what is, what force is acting on it? I said gravity. And you said, nope. Well, yeah. you should have asked me. What you should have asked me is, what is an accelerometer ex uh, measure? Right? No. Well, I, I tell then it would have been then it would have been the geodesic then it would have been this geodesic path you want to talk about. But then I clarified by letting you know that when I talk about gravity, I look at it as a force. Now you may not, but I can. Not only can I, I can and still be correct. So you can and you can be correct in the Newtonian framework. But if you're going, yep, to and that's like, hey, and it's because I know you don't listen, I'm going to say this very fucking firmly so you understand it. Mm -hmm. Omnivore, I adhere to gravity as a force. So when we're having these conversations, my understanding is going to explain it to you as a force. So I'm going to ask you again is what I said wrong? It is, yes. Okay, is it wrong if the framework is based on gravity being a force? Yes. Okay, then five seconds ago, you said I wasn't wrong if that's how I thought of it. Well, the, yeah, you never let me finish. If Okay, let's start over. Am I correct if my framework is that gravity is a force? Do you want a yes or no answer? Yes. No. Okay, then five seconds you ago, you said why? it was. Go you ahead. Want to I, I can explain it to you. So <sighs> you, can, you can use gravity as a force, and you'll be right in all, and, you, and you'll be fine in all virtually all uh discussions so except, this, except so this one. example i am correct hey, no oh, this is it. the one example where you can't do that okay sorry but that's how this works which one is that which one is a that discussion of free fall okay. also discussions so, about wait about gigantic, so wait if uh, i drop so if i drop something if I drop a fucking bowling ball and a feather in a vacuum and I fucking measure the rate that it free falls, I can't use Newtonian? Is that what you just told me? Nope. Shut the fuck up. You can predict so behavior with That's Newtonian. Uh, I don't even want to hear your shit right you, now. You can predict behavior using Newton's law of gravitation. That's fine. But what you can't do is say, I am going You're so to so fucking boring now. The concepts of You've literally bored me action to you just want to talk out of your ass and it's ridiculous and it's i'm not it's wrong insulting. about this I'm not wrong uh, about neither this. am i the problem is is that i understand that what i'm saying is correct and just to base your argument you say i'm wrong but in your argument you explain how i'm right i base gravity i look at gravity as a force 
So when you ask me the questions you asked me, Maya am correct. You already said I was correct. But to make your argument feel correct to you, you have to continue to say I'm wrong for some fucking odd reason. Sean, I'm trying my hardest to agree with you. You're n Okay, how the fuck do you try your hardest to agree Can with I? me by saying I'm wrong? Because what you're not... Hey. Go ahead. Well, you're not May I interject and ask a clarifying question, please? Mm -hmm. Are you asserting that because of Einstein's laws of motions, Newton's laws of motions are no longer relevant? Is that what you're trying to explain here? No. Nope. Then why am I wrong? Okay. Because Newton's laws of motion have worked conceptually very well in almost any terrestrial situation except for one, freefall. Why? Because in Newtonian, I mean, a number of reasons, but the, the easiest one to go to is in the Newtonian framework, freefall is defined as, or uh, gravity is defined as a force, and in relativity, it isn't. You did not answer that fucking question at all. Do you realize that? That's the answer. No, it, you did not answer no, that it question wasn't. fucking at all. Okay, that so was what? bad. Try again. Do it again. Go ahead. Okay, if you if, if you if you have to define gravity as a force and you're talking about freefall, then you start getting answers that are contradictory. Why? That, because the way that we uh, measure acceleration <laughs> using an accelerometer reads nothing in freefall. And because force is equal to mass times acceleration in the Newtonian framework, it therefore means all that you're doing is describing another way that you've that they have decided to measure the force of gravity. Let's ask this question one more time because fucking a, this is so odd. You're saying okay, so you're telling me that I cannot measure the rate of fall of a bowling ball and a feather free fall no, in a vacuum. I'm not telling you that. I'm not okay, so then, so then, what you keep saying? Okay, then why does you keep saying that you can't? Hey, stop, everyone, stop! Don't answer. Hang on, nerd. I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Uh, he says Omni Omnivore does not understand Newton. That's all. I have that's, an that's iron grip on Newton. Like. I have an iron no, grip you don't. I no, do. you you can't because you are sitting here telling us that. That at the small scale, the local scale, Newton doesn't fucking work. I didn't say that. Yes, you fucking are. No, I didn't say that. Okay, buddy. I said that if you want to discuss free fall, that's the one mm -hmm. case. So let me try this another <laughs> No, 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 no. Finish what you said. Finish that's, the what one case, say. that's the one case where it will lead you astray, your understanding. Okay, of so let me ask you one more fucking time for the contradiction of a century. Mm -hmm. Can I use Newtonian to measure the rate of fall of two objects in a fucking vacuum? Yes. Now, contradict yourself again. Keep going. I love okay. it. I'm not contradicting myself at all. Yes, you right? fuck. Okay, let us try this again. Does Newtonian work when describing free fall? What do you mean by work? If you mean it Does can make predictions, if you mean can it make predictions, the answer is yes. If you mean does its understanding match the observed behavior, the answer is no. Why? Because the, so wait, so wait, wait, so, wait, so now you're telling me. So now you're telling me. So wait, now you're telling me that the predictions of Newton and things in free fall don't work. No, I just said they did work. I said, okay, now, so you, then does Newtonian work with calculating free fall? It works with calculating the movement of objects, yes, but it does not work in. Oh my God. This is yes, happening right does. now? Yes, it does. This is happening right now? Fall. Yes, so I, it does work with free fall. Well, let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, and I can ask that nerd guy too. Uh, so when you're in your car and you have your accelerometer, you can drive any direction, north, east, south, or west, and it will. Yeah, I see, I see that uh, nerd. But you you drive north, east, south, or west, and your uh, accelerometer will pick up the acceleration in that direction. Yeah. You can have a. You can launch your car or whatever you're you have the accelerometer on out of a cannon, uh, and it will measure the acceleration. <laughs> you can put it into a dive. Like, you know, a powered dive from an airplane, it'll measure the acceleration down. 
but there's one case where it won't measure any acceleration. And that's free fall. What, what's different? What's special about free fall that the accelerometer doesn't measure that acceleration? Why are you doing this? I'm asking you that, that that's, that's a good way to look at it. Why doesn't it measure that acceleration? Why are you not, why are you avoiding the problem at hand? I'm yeah, okay. Avoiding anything. Yeah. Okay. Why do you keep saying shit like <laughs> Newtonian falls apart when you just, when I you didn't say it free falls. fall? I didn't say okay. it. Okay. Then what did you say? Keep saying it again because it's, I want you to say it again. I want you to keep, I okay. want you to say it again so we can go down the same line. I want this to be clipped the fuck out by everyone. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you should. You should. So what? When you use, when you try to think of gravity as a force, it leads you to the uh, the, the gravity tower that we started discussing. It oh. has this force on it pulling it downward. That's how you that's how you have to conceptualize it in Newtonian forms, and that does not explain. And this is for nerd too. That does not explain why the tower disorders itself. And it doesn't explain why you said it doesn't fuck. God damn it. This is insane to fucking me. Do you like, do you, so, I got a question. I got a serious question. It has nothing to do with the topic. Okay. Do you know you're wrong, but you just are so steadfast that you can't say you were? No, I do you think I, you're hundred percent in everything you're saying right now. I'm actually very clear that I'm right. And we're talking about an actual test of whether or not I'm right. And you have video of the test that shows that I'm right. And you can't explain your, your 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 methodology doesn't explain the results of the test, and I can. I do. I okay, you ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. The plane has to adhere to a specific rate of fall using Newtonian gravity to make that mimicking effect happen inside the plane. So why does the tower disorder? Because the plane adheres to Newtonian and is able to mimic things. So why does the why does the tower disorder? Because the plane adheres to Newtonian and knows how to null its effects within its innards. It knows how to what? Yeah, yeah. So a scientist can go, hey, get in that fucking plane, and you need to do this trajectory at this rate of fall to mimic this effect. Okay. So when you do that trajectory and that rate of fall why does the tower the, the density tower disorder itself because we know how to how to uh use and calculate newtonian gravity okay so nerd can you explain why the tower disorders itself no no yes not no again again you're asking for something different than you're asking originally let me no, make something very no, clear to you. Is, Let me make something very clear to you. Newtonian describes free fall extremely fucking well, especially, especially when we're talking with the reference with Earth. Because of that, everything I say to you about Newtonian, I am not wrong in. And then you specified that Newtonian does not explain free fall for some odd fucking reason. Does it? it does though. I'm showing it right it here. Fucking it does. No, 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 it it doesn't. So everyone I, stop. Your... Everyone stop. Everyone stop. I have to do this. Got to do it. Again, nerd. Thank you again. I appreciate it. He says, "How dishonest to say I can't explain it, but ignore the answer I already gave. Gravity acts on every part of the accelerometer equally." He is correct. Yes. Okay. But then wait, wait. You wait. Time out. You told me I was wrong when I said that. No, I didn't tell you you were wrong when you said it. Yes, you fucking did. That's what started this whole argument. No. No. Oh fuck. So the fact that gravity. So the question that you have to address, you have to figure out for yourself, is a nerd can probably puzzle it out. I, I'd be curious to hear his uh, description. Is why does Another con everyone gravity. get ready for the next contradiction? Go ahead. Why does grab why does gravity provide an acceleration that works on every part of the accelerometer uniformly, but no other acceleration that you can produce does? What's different about that? In what context? 
I have a what car. What is the context I, of acceleration that so, you're talking about that this does not work in? Any any context. So I, if in a car, I can drive in any direction and it'll show me my acceleration. The acceleration sure, yeah. But when I go into free fall, suddenly it doesn't show any acceleration. It shows no force acting on it at all. So what's different about gravity that it doesn't show up on the acceleration, but uh, the you know driving in my car does? Because because the question okay the question isn't what does an accelerometer read and why the question is is what's acting on the accelerometer. This the and it's the same thing as the like I said earlier the fucking elevator paradox. The mm -hmm. elevator is be is the gravity is acting on that elevator. Regardless of what you're referencing. Yeah. Funny, so let's true. let's diagram Sorry. it, right? It's it's the relevant question, nerd. It is. That's the relevant question. The question is what's different about free fall than about any other acceleration? And that is where Newton doesn't have an answer. <laughs> but Einstein did. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's it. You hit it, nerd. But it is, it is relevant. It's the relevant question. This is crazy. This uh, whole situation yeah. has gotten out of control. This is insane. Well, if you, if you look into, if you look into the, the, let's see, what would you call it? So you could do coordinate versus proper acceleration, but that's going to be kind of complicated. No, we're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to walk through this elevator thing so you can understand what's going on here. I, I do. Okay. So we can I'm all familiar. be on the same page about this. Okay. I agree so we've, we, we've we got this elevator, right? Mm-hmm. Or spaceship in deep space. We'll get there. Playing infinite regress. It is, the question is, why is that, why is gravity a different acceleration than any other acceleration? You and got your pulley system. Mm -hmm. So you've got your tension here. Mm -hmm. You've got your force of gravity here. Okay. Your constant, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You've got your relative here. What other forces are going on? Let's just map it out. Take it step by step. Old school, I'm, polished I'm physics style. So what else is going on here? I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. There may be some other friction uh, due to drag. <laughs> or the bearing. Yeah, so the our friction drag. is right here. Friction. Tension of the rope, right? Well, also, it may have uh, bearings in, in tracks on the side, depending on how the elevator is constructed. But sure, I'll have air and drag you to air. <laughs> All right, which way? Up, down. So uh, we've got we've got gravity, downward force there. We've got our tension here on the rope. Mm -hmm. We've got some upward acceleration, right, because of drag. Or it could be downward acceleration. I would leave out drag, for personally. Why are we leaving out drag? Because it's a it's more complicated. Uh, well, Drag will I'd like be to, uh, I'd like to welcome uh I'd like to welcome Nerd to the panel. Ah, I'm welcome glad nerd. to see Nerd here. That is excellent. Good, good. That means I don't have to try to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so entertained by watching you try. I mean, I kind of tried, right? Like the you whole the time point. he's talking about free fall and stuff and how. You know, I, I I'm not understanding how how you're saying that Einstein's concepts of gravity are okay, but Newtonian's concepts of okay <laughs> laws of gravity are not okay. All right, so let me try Very from good. the start. And and, and 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 more and, and more specifically to to understand is that we are very much so talking about this reference of Earth, okay. which is very important in this conversation. Okay. So, right, because my understanding of this, right, is that Einstein states that um, celestial bodies warp space around itself, and that is creating the constant free fall, right? Because that warping is asymptotic, right? Because uh, it's sure. warping into infinity, whatever. Uh, um, mm. And then you have the gravitational pull that is relative yeah. of the bodies yeah. surrounding Earth that are also in free fall. Hang on, I want to. So you uh, have you uh, have a pool here. Hang on, text, hang on. Hang on text, you have hang a pool on. here. Nerd, were, hang on, hang on. You were you here. trying to were you trying to talk at all, nerd? I'm not sure. I just want to make sure. Um, if you are, we don't hear you. Um, let me know in the private chat that you are You're trying. Asking, to... I'm. Hi. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're good. I'm just letting Texlex uh, explain what he wants to say. Okay. 
I just want well, to make that, sure you're you're good. Go ahead, Tex. I'm sorry. That's it. I was just trying to explain my understanding of what this is, right? So y'all are free to correct or so, adjust accordingly. I wouldn't draw the gravity well around it like that because that is essentially a 3D representation of a of a. I don't want to say a 4D phenomenon, although that's technically true. It's an, the gravity well is an, an infinite direction, infinite locations of the in reality is what well, he's trying to say around it's, 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 it's pushing. It's okay, so it, it's all directions in. So it's like a, like a spherical magnet attracting things from every direction, not just. From I, I would not say it like that. Don't say that. Why would you say that? That was so weird. Well, because people yeah, understand part. understand a, that a magnetic uh, attraction doesn't really have like uh top and bottom yeah but when you do that it sounds super fucking weird well, it sounds like you don't know what you're talking about the same so we've got our expansion of the universe right and that's almost cornucopiac um at least of our if we're thinking up this from not like a 4d thought process i, I didn't want to go that deep into this conversation i don't think um we, we want to just discuss like relative yeah, to I, earth how does yeah. newton's laws affect free fall versus how does einstein's laws affect affect free fall and why suddenly we can't use newton you can, you, <laughs> yeah you can, you can yeah newton, why not newton it will lead you it, oh it my lead god you astray in a comprehensive at what point at what point because this start, is insane that you keep fucking saying this. It's like you contradict yourself. It leads you astray in how you conceptualize free fall. Oh, my God. Nerd, can you clarify this for us at all? Yes. So, uh, I, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. yes, sir. So, uh, I agree with Sean. Uh, this is overcomplicating things. So, you totally don't need general relativity to explain why we have microgravity on the ISS, for instance. Uh, you can just apply uh, Newton's law of universal gravitation uh, appropriately. And this is the outcome that is expected because, uh, as I wrote, um, gravity acts um, on every part of the object homogeneously in Newtonian theory. And this is why you cannot detect it with an accelerometer or with two objects that are floating in the ISS uh, next to one another. There is a tiny bit of difference in the acceleration. So over time, you will see a bit of movement, but this is why it's called microgravity, not zero gravity, technically. So what, what um, Omnivore is saying now is that this is not a satisfactory explanation. And that is subjective, in my opinion. The math works. That is the fact. And you don't need to go into these deeper explanations about why does gravity does uh, do this and why it's the only force um, that acts homogeneously on every massive object, in my opinion. Okay, so I don't have a I don't have a problem with uh, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I don't I don't find his uh, well, I'm not I can't leave GR out of it because I want to make sure that we're talking about what started this. So, nerd, were you here for the density pat tower part of the discussion? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> why does the density tower, maybe you can answer this. Sean was unable to give me like a, 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 a concrete answer. He just said we can mimic whatever we see in the ISS, but. Same explanation. Okay. So Gravity. you can't give a better. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I did. I did. Uh, same explanation. It acts on every part of the fluid um homogeneously and that's why there is no relative acceleration of one part of the liquid towards another and yes you get some mixing that is due to other factors for instance you give it a little bump and then uh, things start to move and then because they uh, act they have electrostatic repulsion between the atoms and so on um but this is uh, there is no organizing force like uh, if you have it on the standing on the earth for instance the, uh, the density tower that's that that i 100 percent agree with there is no organizing force so that organizing force which is gravity the gravitic effect 
that we have on the earth that makes a plumb line go from up where I'm holding it to down where the plumb is, right? That organizing force is no longer applying to the uh, gradient power. Yeah. Okay. So what that means, Sean, is that there's not an up and down for that gradient power. Again, in reference to only inside there, still factored into the situation is what I've been saying this whole time. You have to get the plane into that trajectory and free fall to mimic these things. Oh, will any free fall do it or just one kind of free fall? A free fall calculated using Newtonian equations. How okay, about that? But if I drop it in my kitchen, will it no longer have that up and down? Not enough time. Okay, so that's not true. So, nerd, not if, enough I time. It, if I drop it in my kitchen for whatever period of time it is in free fall, yeah. Well, it will no longer have that up and down organizing force. It will no longer have the force. What I think uh, Sean is saying is that there's not enough time for the liquids to mix. Oh, they may not mix, but it will no longer have the minute it hits free fall, it will no longer have that, that effect acting on it. Well, free yeah. fall, well, force is still acting on it. Nope. It no longer has that organizing okay. effect. Show me it doing that just sitting somewhere. It's not sitting somewhere it has to be in free fall ah it's exactly it has to be in a trajectory of free fall correct well and all i'm saying and all i'm saying all i'm saying is that gravity the force is acting on the situation that's all i'm saying so right except that I, I <laughs> explains to us that during free fall it is at rest, and that is oh why, and that is why there is no, okay. no, now, no organizing effect. Now I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going to, I want to explain to you. I want to explain to you. I want to explain to you why your argument. This is the problem with your argument. This is the main problem I see with your argument, and I need you to understand this very clearly. I am not a smart person. I completely understand that my understanding of general relativity is extremely fucking limited. So what I have done is I have adhered to looking at gravity as, as a force, period. I know I know general relativity works. Don't I'm not saying that at all. I can even understand a lot, most sure. of it, some of it. But what I'm trying to explain to you is this, that general relativity, its explanation has nothing is not explained here on Earth. Einstein explained this as take the reference out of it. This is what's happening with objects when objects interact with each other. It is not, it's not a situation that you can tell me I'm wrong in this scenario. If you want to go into the middle of the universe, then we can start talking. If you want to talk about an object that is in the middle of the fucking universe and I'm referencing here, then we can start talking about how I'm wrong. But everything I'm saying is correct. And you're just trying to find a way that I'm wrong about it. No. Yeah. Okay. I promise you I'm not. So, so you are. The reason, I'm the telling you, you are. This, this is important. There's a reason why it's important. There's a reason why it's important and why it's relevant. <laughs> I know, I know, okay. I know. But the reason okay. why it's relevant is when you're talking about about gravity, especially in like the flat earth debate space, okay, what will happen is people who have no understanding of general relativity, but unlike you, think it's fake. Okay, there's a difference. You, you don't think it's fake. You're just not claiming to be the Einsteinian GR master, which, you know, which is fine. But people who think it's fake will dance back and forth between the two of them, trying to call no. out contradictions. And yeah, the pro and the problem is, is when you play the back and forth game, and have to start trying to figure out where they contradict each other is where they start stepping on your toes. You need to understand that what I'm doing is how you need to handle it. On the earth, Newtonian, perfectly fine. And even better than that, my Newtonian is way easier to verify and explain to someone who doesn't understand general relativity or gravity at all. That's what you need to understand. You're trying to explain, you're trying to over explain something to people who don't understand the basic. And wow. that's why you don't get anywhere. Exactly. Uh, may, okay. May I make a point? Go ahead. So um, the Apollo missions. Okay, I, th I think most of us can agree that they happened and so, and so on, um, at least here in the room. <laughs> yeah. um, so the Apollo missions, they were 
first of all, they were calculated using the Newtonian mechanics even though general yes. re relativity was already well established in the um, yes. field I'm of physics. Aware. Absolutely. Yes. And not only that, but they didn't even apply Newtonian mecha uh, mechanics uh, exactly or as exactly as possible. They used a simplification that's called patched conics. Um, that's just basically a simplification where you treat it as a, a pat patchwork of uh, two body problems instead of mm -hmm. an n body problem. Yep. yep. And it worked. Yeah, I agree. It was not the best possible or the most accurate way, but it was good enough. And that's why we use Newtonian mechanics. That's why we, well, why, why they used even patched conics as a, as an do they, approximation. Do they only use Newtonian mechanics for GPS? No, but that is a, right. that's a different thing. Well, I'm not saying no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying that general relativity is not sometimes important. Of course, it is. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, it makes no sense to talk about a black hole in Newtonian uh, mechanics. Um, but if you just want to explain how the ISS goes about the orbit and why the <laughs> bubble um, of water floats in in front of the face of the astronaut, then you don't need the stuff. We, we don't have to go to the um, nanometer precision here or something. This is just about the basics. Sheen. That, that, I agree with that. Yeah. But, so, but if you, if you demand that I answer a question as to whether or not somebody is falling or not, and I say, well, you know, free fall is an Einsteinian uh, reference being at rest. That's also correct. So if you're trying to force me to answer a yes or no question, and you know, I'm going to be like, you know, well, no, I'm I'm not going to subscribe to your to your meaning. I am also correct to say that. In fact, in some ways, more correct, because the way that we measure <laughs> that acceleration using an accelerometer shows the accelerometer being at rest. Yeah, but wait. It was not just about answering the question. You specifically said that uh, Sean G's uh, understanding was wrong. Yep. I said that you will be misled about whether or no. not a. Just a second. I, whether... I'm sorry, Omni. Hang on, Omni. You said I was incorrect with the way I thought about it. Yes. But I'm not. I am 100% on par. If you if you were 100% on par. The accelerometer mm -hmm. would show a downward acceleration. Oh wind. my God! You're not. You're talking. No. You're talk, you dude. I'm sorry. I don't know why what you're doing right now. But okay, the reality well, is, okay, hang on. okay, Omni, you do not have to say I'm right. It's okay. You don't. Look you at, don't have look to say. Accelerometers. Just you know when you have <laughs> when you have spare time. Look it up. Hey, look in. Hey, Omni, look into giraffes, man. That that's what you're doing right now. You're you're bypassing the point and going. Look at this. Look squirrel. No, that is the point. The point is that there's we have this way of measuring. So, nerd, watch, I think. Watch, hang on, watch nerd, this. Nerd, real quick. I just want to clarify. Quick. I want. I want. I want to clarify this for everyone. Watch this, Omni. Am I wrong in my thinking? I don't think you're wrong in your thinking. I think Stop you're contradicting your yourself. First of all, I think that's you're wrong your number in your, one problem. In your conclusion. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? So, now I you're contradicting we, yourself inside no, the same no, sentences. Oh no, no. no. I think your thinking is okay. Like from your perspective, I think this all makes sense, and I think that it's a, you know, intelligent way to think. It's not. That's uh, that's not my perspective. That's not mine. That's Newtonian, not my okay. perspective. Newtonian. Okay. Yeah, whatever. But I think that your your adherence to wanting to talk about Newtonian and then force the free fall discussion into the Newtonian frame is a mistake. I think that that it's will lead you to say things that are not true from the perspective of the best science we have available. Hold on. The problem. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Can I talk? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Um, you said earlier that specifically Newton does not work with free fall. Do you even understand how Newto uh, Newton's uh, universal law of gravitation came about? Yeah. I mean, I have. Yeah, so how does that not completely debunk your point there? Because it describes gravity as a force, and it is mm -hmm. a force that we do not detect using the okay. tools uh, that we have to detect it. And in fact, 
we detect the opposite. <laughs> no, let me let me explain it. So what Newton's idea was, very simply, with the, uh, we have the thought experiment with the apple. Uh, he saw the apple falling, and he knew that uh, planets mo move about the sun. That was pretty yep. well established at the time. Yep. Yep. Um, and then he had this idea, what if the cause of the apple falling to the Earth mm -hmm. and the cause of the planets going around the sun is the same? Mm -hmm. And that's how he came up with the theory, um, with, the, with the law of universal gravitation. Yes. And then he showed that Kepler's laws, which were also well established at the time, can be mm -hmm. essentially, with a few refinements, uh, derived from uh, his law. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Yes. So, but the planets around the sun, are they not in free fall? They are. You see? So, Newton. <laughs> so, nerd, Newton's I have a question. Theory for you. is have a completely question for you. about free fall. I have a question yes. for you. I have a question for you. You sound like you, you're, you're, you're up on this stuff. So, a planet is moving around the sun in a uh, uh, ellipse. Yeah. Yeah, and the two bodies. Uh, it's a two body problem. Yeah, it's a yeah. body problem. It's moving in an ellipse. And the elliptical motion is defined in physics as an acceleration. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, so, in, so, in, in, let, me, let me answer in an inertial wow. reference frame, which is what Newtonian mechanics is originally about. Um, we're talking yeah. about now, we're talking about a two body problem where I have the Earth zooming around the sun. It's not. Ellipse. It's not relevant to this. <laughs> it's just I'm just trying to. But you know the your... you know the answer though, don't you, nerd? You know so the what answer. you're doing? Oh, oh, hold, oh, on, hold, so on. Let, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let let me quickly respond mm -hmm. to that, please. He says he's un uncomfortable with yes or no questions, and I can't mm -hmm. get an entire sentence out to. And I Go just ahead. have to say yes or no. That's a little bit hypocritical in okay. my opinion. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So yes. Um, with the two-body problem, if you want to be technical with uh, Newton, then the uh, the, um, the planet traces an ellipse around one of the foci. Uh, uh, sorry, um, Very simple, where right? one where the sun. Uh, uh, sorry, let's start again. <laughs> uh, it traces an ellipse where one of the foci is the very center of the system. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay, um, because the sun is much more massive than the planets. Um, the sun is much closer to the barycenter, so we can also mm -hmm. basically ignore the difference between barycenter and the center of the sun. Sure. Agreed. And technically, there are more planets, but unless they get close to one another, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, yep. It's still basically an ellipse. You can find some differences with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. I agree. That's my answer. Okay. So is is the planet accelerating in constant acceleration around the sun? Yes. Okay. So shouldn't that acceleration have been detected by Nicholson Morley? Uh, no. Why not? Absolutely not. Nicholson Morley is not about acceleration even. It's about detecting velocity. Well, it's about detecting so, the ether around the moving Earth, but we should yeah. be able to detect it with Michelson, Pearson, Gale, or you know, other. No, no, no. Uh, you're conflating uh, revolution with rotation. No, are... no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, oh, yes, I promise you, you I'm not. I'm not. No, no. So... Your promise doesn't mean anything <laughs> because you are. <laughs> well, okay. So, so what's your what's your background, nerd alert? And do you have a side? What's your side? Oh no, no, no. First. If you ask that okay. question, then start I'm, with your background. Uh, my background is uh, computer science, and I yeah, got to good. like physics three and differential equations. So, yeah. Okay, I don't. I I come from a German education background, so I cannot really say what physics three means. Yeah. I, um, I completed um, an intensive course in physics and an intensive course in chemistry, but I forgot most about that. Okay. Um, at uh, um, basically the German equivalent of grammar school. So we have a uh, tripartite system. Yep. So we have three layers of education, of public education, and this was the top layer. Okay. So you had, um, you had, you had, you had uh, uh, educational background in this. So, yeah. So when the reason why we don't detect acceleration around the sun by 
by any means that we have to detect this. And there are, so for example, the Sagnac effect. Well, the Sagnac effect detects the rotation <laughs> yeah. of the Earth on its axis, but it does not detect the exactly. orbit of the Earth around the sun. Exactly. Why would it? And the reason yeah, for that, it? the reason, for, well, why wouldn't it? Wait, why wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. as I said, you're conflating revolution and rotation. No, um, not. in I astronomy, you I you let I'm me not. let me answer that. So, in astronomy, uh, it's strictly distinguished between revolution and rotation. Revolution Correct. is the orbital motion of a body around another body, yep. and rotation is the um, motion around its own axis. Correct. And the Sunyak effect is. Um, about rotation it's not about revolution um it only matters so some people say but the sun uh, but the orbital motion is the reason why we don't det detect 15 degrees per hour exactly it's more like 15.04 degrees but that's yeah that's like the definitional thing because we define the hour in terms of the mean solar day um it doesn't really matter let's say so do you disagree with me that the Earth is moving in a straight line at a constant velocity around the sun from Einstein's viewpoint? From the point of relative. Uh, I, so, OK, let's get back to the education. So I took a course in special relativity at mm -hmm. grammar school also, uh, um, an optional course. Okay. Um, I know some things about general relativity, but I'm definitely not an expert. Now it's your time to explain how you are an expert in general relativity. I'm not. I am not yeah. an expert, <laughs> but I do understand this this point of it. So, according to relativity, general relativity, the Earth is moving in a straight line through curved space as it and the, because the geodesic is around the space sun. Time. Yeah, right. The, it moves in an orbit from our perspective, from our reference frame. So it is free falling around the sun, but at the same yeah. time, from its perspective, it is moving in a straight line. Yeah, that's that's okay. It's okay as a, let's go deeper explanation, but it's not like it suffices for everyday purposes to look at Newton. That's my point. That's fine. Um, yeah, I agree, like, I agree with that. But if yeah. you're going to dis try to discuss free fall, and you're going to try to force an answer as to whether or not something uh, in a geodesic is falling or not, then you're, no, not, see. you're going to have you're going to have problems because the term falling generally requires an up and down. Uh, well, you will. It generally requires an up and down, no. which you don't have in that in that geodesic. An up and down, which I don't have. Um, it's called universal the uh, Newton's universal law of gravitation. It's a vector uh, force, or every force, um, you have a vector, but and the force. acceleration, you can define an acceleration field. But not um, not a, yeah, you that you has know a the direction at every point. Let me, you... let me make my okay. point here, please. Um, now, I, now, now I lost the... Are you uh, familiar with the difference between coordinate and proper acceleration? Yeah, uh, yeah, but this is completely irrelevant here. It's a hundred percent relevant. No, because my point is that Newton is enough to talk about this. And mm -hmm. another point I want to make now I remembered it is this as long as people don't understand Newton, they shouldn't be discussing general relativity really. Um, yes. I, is, I agree with you there. That because if you cannot if you cannot ride with the training wheels, then you shouldn't take the training wheels off. I, I agree. That's my opinion. And Newton is complex enough that intelligent people can study it for years without fully understanding it. Yeah, I agree. I agree with all of that. But I think that if you're going to try to apply Newton to yeah. the experience of freefall, you are going to run into problems where gravity very clearly is not a force like any other acceleration that we can apply. Yeah, and but that's you have no philosophical. You have no. It's not philosophical. It is a actual uh, experience that we can have. You can experience it by dropping an accelerometer. So Sean, no, 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 absolutely not. As I said, 
uh, with the accelerometer that is explained by Newton. And uh, yes, let's let's go into why Einstein came up with general relativity. He came up with special relativity because of the null result of Michelson Morley mainly. Mm. But he came up with general relativity because of his thought experiment. So how to integrate <laughs> gravity with special relativity. And then his thought experiment was with the mm -hmm. elevator and the falling elevator. And yep. you cannot tell if you're yep. uh, okay. in free fall or whether there's no gravity. Yep. Um, the equivalence principle. So, and Einstein was bothered. So I agree with you there. Einstein, this did bother Einstein that he said every other force, we have some notion of a charge. And then, however, we have the mass of the object. And um, depending on the ratio of the charge to the mass, we have some strength of the interaction, let's say. Well, not even, but, it's not just charge, yeah, it's just inertia. Let me finish this point. Okay. Um, also inertia. Of the, okay. the funda fundamental forces. Let's not go into inertial forces, please. This uh, I already had enough headache arguing about <laughs> that in the last days. All right. Uh, so, um, but for for gravity, somehow this charge, the, uh, in quote unquote, that makes um, that determines the strength of the force is also equal uh, to the to the mass. Mm -hmm. So the two cancel out. And it's the only force that does this in the Newtonian view. And I agree with you, this bothered Einstein and he tried to came, come up with a better explanation. And we can agree that he came up with a better explanation. It doesn't change my point, however, that you don't need to look that deeply into it to understand how an orbit works. Okay, well, I, I, I agree with you there. I agree with you there. I think that if you're going to discuss up and down, which is what we started with. If you're going to discuss the directions of up and down, you're doing that relative to one thing or based on one reference point, which is gravity, right? And when you're in free fall, you know, you you have some explaining to do if you're going to to say that there is still an up and down because of gravity. No, no. I don't have an explaining to do. I, I can say there is an up or, or down as measured from Earth, ex for example, uh, but I can say that it's not locally measurable. Right. Yeah, you can, you can declare a reference frame, but then it's not a yeah. universal up and down, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, that, that, that was my point to RTH, was that if you want to understand how you know, you can you can get away from up and down. You can simply go into free fall, and then you know. Yeah, you but can, yeah, you can do it from another reference. You can frame. explain that without general relativity. Well, I didn't have I to explain like, it with. General yeah, yeah, relativity. yeah. See, here, here's what the problem is, Omni, and kudos to you for understanding general relativity. But the problem is this: you're saying you're trying to help people understand something, but what you're saying is that you're smarter than everyone and you're just trying to prove it. So what what I'm trying to do is explain to RTH that his concept of up and down is only based on an exterior reference frame that is not no more valid than any other one. Okay? So when you say, look, when I'm taking this density tower and allowing it to scramble, which you can do just by dropping it in your kitchen, yeah, it'll only have it for a fraction of a second, but you know, for that time, it will be in free fall. When uh, you do that, it means that his grip on a universal uh, direction is actually not true. It falsifies I feel, his claim to a universal. I feel direction. like I feel like your argument would only work when someone says it's not gravity; it's density. Well, it it's. It works if somebody says there's always an up and there's always a down. Well, there is. Well, there, I, we don't agree. So, okay. So, if I jump and at a certain point I weigh nothing, mm -hmm. is there still up or down? At that point, there is only no, no, up no, 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 no. Is there still an up and down? From the perspective of somebody in an inertial reference frame, yes. Okay. That's all that's being said, and you're just uh, trying yeah, to but explain not, through it. Not from, not from, but not from other reference frames. So they're again, all equal. Again, so. again, if if when you say there's no up and down, 
I expect to be able to do something, go somewhere, and it be no up and down. The fact that I have to physically manipulate things to say there's no up and down doesn't mean there's no up and down. It just means that you've manipulated enough stuff to fucking get the void of that. Oh, I mean, or get I'm, the the middle result of that, right? Because like a, when you jump and we find that weightless point, it's still the process of up and down. I understand right? that that it provoked an incredulity response. Yeah, I, I've totally got that now. But I okay. I did I honestly didn't think it would. I didn't think you would respond so incredulously to that because I it's thought perfect. that you understood that technically no, I, or wow. actually gravity is not a force and but it is up and down is no gravity, gravity is a force that's why i prefaced well, it at least five times I, I didn't realize that was your that was your you know you had I didn't realize that was your hill to die on so <laughs> well again i started I, I a good hour ago i i put my sheath my sheath down and i pulled the sword and said this is the hill I said that I already I said it very clearly that my understanding of general relativity is so limited that I am more confident saying that gravity is a force and applying it to anything that I need to. Um, I, I do adhere to the fact that at a certain point, things start becoming less accurate. Absolutely. But we weren't talking about any of those places, any of those locate distances at all. Okay. None of those things. So when general relativity was brought up, it was to me it was odd because the reference that we were talking about Earth. The ISS, astronaut, uh, bowling ball, uh, feather, you name it. All that stuff. Uh, Newton works fucking amazing. And your your argument, your hill was, is that it fall, like it, you didn't say fall apart. You said something about, it doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. You said that Newtonian had problems with free fall or some shit. And, and that's why general relativity has nothing to do with the bowling ball and the feather being dropped. If Einstein would have never have thought, if that was the case, they weren't looking up and they had only had this drop, drop a ball, drop a feather type situation, Einstein would have never in his life thought of general relativity. Yeah. Let me throw in a number to that, uh, if you don't mind. So Omnivore mentioned GPS. Um, GPS, um, without relativistic corrections, would experience a drift uh, of the clock. Uh, of the atomic clocks on the satellites every day of 30 uh, 38 microseconds. 38 microseconds per day. So um, that's not a lot, I think. Um, it matters for GPS because uh, for certain applications, you need very precise uh, timing. Um, it's a common misunderstanding that it's only for the uh, geopositioning that you need to be the, uh, that you need to remove this error. But if you only do geopositioning, uh, you don't need to remove the error because the error is the same on all the satellites and it cancels out. But you do need it if you want to use GPS for timekeeping or for um, relating the time to the uh, geographical position. Okay, that's, yeah, too technical, I think. But anyway, um, the difference the point is just that the difference is tiny for most purposes. Right. So yeah, I, I agree with if that. If I'm flying, yeah, if I'm flying from uh, Tokyo to uh, whatever to, to Los Angeles, I don't need to know if I will be late by 38 microseconds or by maybe 20 microseconds for the duration of the flight. <laughs> uh, you've never worked for my employers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't agree with, I don't disagree with anything you're saying there. What I'm saying is my, okay, well, personally speaking, it explained a bunch of stuff to me. So, you know, I found it useful. When, but you know, when I, I first I, confronted the difference between uh, free fall acceleration and any other form of acceleration, I was, I was, you know, I, I was like, oh my God, yeah, that's a good point. And then looking into it, the difference between coordinate acceleration and proper acceleration. I had a better understanding of it. And then uh, four vector motions, you know, three space like and one time like three spatial vectors, one time like vector, I became, you know, I found it fascinating. So I think it's, but I also, I do think that it's an important distinction, but obviously we're not going to agree, agree about that here. No. It is general relativity. Newton is a very important distinction. It helps a lot. The, 
the, the, the issue I find that we had and that's being had now, again, um, it's like you're trying to put your smarts on display and it's off-putting. Not it. No, the fuck yeah, it's off-putting. It's weird. Okay. Um, right. You would get a lot further if you weren't trying. Because like, here's the thing. You are smart, Omni. There's no fucking doubt about it, right? The problem is, is that rather than show that you're smart, you want to display that you're smart. And it's very off-putting to people that aren't un as understanding or willing to do it. Okay. You would just get right. I'm just saying you would get further if you didn't display it rather than just show it. I'll, 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 I'll take that as feedback. All right. I, it was, it was uh, well, good constructive criticism. It was not ill-placed at all. Because okay. I, because I, someone like you, I think, is good for the community because you, the way you do, um, the your understanding of things is needed. The problem is, is that you, you're past the, you're past helping someone understand something and just showing them that you know it. And that's it doesn't help someone like myself who doesn't understand certain things because I'm too busy trying to figure out if it's you displaying or you just trying to help me. Okay. There's no, right. there's no that that line is very small, and I and because of it, it makes it difficult to take information understood uh, yeah i guess that, that's good feedback uh i will take it yeah. uh i i do stand ready to present the content